Hi, welcome back. On this video here, we're going to be learning about SQL injection. And you might be asking yourself, what in the world is SQL injection? Edwin? Well, it's a technique basically uh, that people use, attackers, uh, to attack our applications on the web. For example, they can come here and put a statement here, for example, something like this. Uh, and they could say drop table and something like this, right? So they use a statement like this and they can go ahead and when they submit that, that can go into our database and it can actually delete the database. You know, now there are many of these techniques out there. They, they can do a lot more than this. This is just a little um, scratch on the surface. These people, they, that's what they do every single day. They look for techniques to attack on your websites and they will destroy it. They will destroy your applications. Now, uh, this video here is just to help you uh, clean out some of this data, sanitize it. Uh, and how are we going to do that? Well, PHP actually made a function for us called uh, MySQLI underscore realscape underscore string. And what that function is going to do is going to just kind of clean things up. Right now, if you go to this little application that we made here, and you say something like, Edwin's courses are great, for example, right? And you put this little comma right there right and you put some text and you you're trying to create that record it's not going to allow us and that's because we're not escaping this you see so right here this application right now is very prone for them for people to attack it they can come here and put an, uh, an insert uh, uh, SUS statement and they could delete our databases all right and tables so to prevent it, let's go ahead and do something. So I'm going to go and let's go to functions on under my SQL directory. Under that directory, go there. You should have a MySQL folder and go there and go to functions. All right. So what we want to do is we want to clean up this data before it goes to the, to the database. So we want to clean up the username because that's what we're using in the uh, create little application we got there, right? This username field and this password field. Those are the two string fields we got. We need to clean them up. We need to sanitize them, escape some strings before it gets to the database. So how we do that is by going to, let's go to that function again right here. So the way we do that is by cleaning this up. And the way we do that, let's actually use that function that PHP offers us. and we are going to be using the same username. As a matter of fact, let me just type the function first so you can see it. MySQLI. Remember, this is there is a mass, MySQL out there, but that's the old version, right? We're using a new version just to... Uh, this is what we've been using all this time, all right? Just for your information. Escape and string. There we go. So this is the function here that's going to help us out. And I'm just going to type it again. Well, copy and paste it there. And it's going to take two parameters. First, it's going to take our connection variable right here. OK. And we don't need this, actually. I was just going to show you that it needs two parameters. And the second parameter would be what you want to clean, what you want to escape right there. So. I'm going to do two for the username one and for the password another one, comma, and then put the password there, okay? And I'm also going to assign it to a to this variable here, so like that, and the username also. So that way we can use that variable right here. So when it goes to use already sanitized, all right? So let me just make it bigger so that way you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we got everything going here. Everything's good. You see what I did? So I use this function here to escape all the data inside that field. So when we have commas or any type of other parentheses or any type of data there, it's going to clean it up for us. And it's going to make it nice and neat to go in here. So 
once we clean it up here with this function, then I'm assigning the same function back to the username. So that way we can put it inside the database through here and using the same thing for the password. All right. So now we should be good. Now, if I try to do that, create uh, that comma that I did with Edwin's great core string, it should work now. So let's try it. Edwin's great co courses are great, right? Put some password here and I'm going to click create. And you see now it works. Now I can go to the database, should be there. Let's go to the database, should be on my PHP, my admin right there. All right. So as you can see here, it says Edwin's courses are great. All right. We can check it. We can check that it is working by just going back to the functions and we can comment this out. And you can see that we can try it again just to make sure. And Edwin, let's just try something else. Peters, there we go. Uh, create and when we get this error all right and let's uncomment this out I like to try things a couple of times just to make sure and let's just go to that file again and try Peters create record created refresh we got the record right here cleaned up all right so n none of this stuff is going to affect our uh, SQL our database and tables inside SQL, my SQL. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this, and hopefully this will help you make your application a little bit more secure. And um, thank you. I'll see you in the next lecture.